Hello, and welcome to another of our Study Island V3 sneak peek videos. I'm Jessica Ellis, and I'm here to introduce you to the Custom Assessment Builder. I am really excited about this feature because it is something that I heard suggested by our customers so much when I was on our customer relations team. So often I would hear teachers say, I love how Study Island is set up, but sometimes it would be nice to be able to handpick questions and create my own assessment. And Custom Assessment Builder does just that. So let's take a look. To access Custom Assessment Builder, you will log in normally and click on Class Manager. Then you'll click on Class Page and Assignments next to the class you want to create the assessment for. Then you'll click Add Assignment. You'll scroll down to where it says Diagnostic Assessment and click the button that says Create Diagnostic Assessment. You'll see that the top part of this looks very similar to what you're already used to in creating assignments, so we'll just skip ahead to the part where it gets exciting. Select Questions. This will be very new and different for you. So you'll select the grade level and a subject, and then you'll click Get Topic List. And it will give you this whole new page that displays the topics, the number of questions available, the expectations that are covered, and gives you the icons that you need in order to go in and choose the questions. So you'll just click that, and it will open a new window for you to go in and view the questions. If you like a question, to add it to your assessment, all you have to do is click Add. If you want to remove it later, you can click Remove. So I'll add a few questions here. When you're finished adding questions, you'll just click Save Selections. When you're all finished, you'll do just like you would for a normal assignment. You'll activate and save the assignment. In this demo version, I'm actually not able to save the assignment, but I hope this has been able to give you a general idea of what you're going to see in Custom Assessment Builder. Now, when the student takes the test, it will behave very similar to our benchmarks. They won't have the option to select the number of questions like they do in the regular practice and instruction part of Study Island, so they will have to do all of the questions that you've selected. The reporting will work in a similar way as well. And that is our Custom Assessment Builder. We hope you're excited about it and you'll get a lot of use out of it. If you have questions or want to discuss this with fellow Study Island users, you can visit our forums at www.studyisland.com and click the Island Community Forums icon at the top right of the page. We'll see you next time, and as always, thank you for using Study Island.